With all those things done and a location selected, you're ready to start driving that ground rod. I'm just gonna give it a quick push and get this started. And actually my ground is really soft here. So I've got a great start on this actually without the tool, which is kind of phenomenal. I'm gonna take my tool And this is only an 11 pound hammer drill, so. Now it's really up to you how much or little of the ground rod you want to leave exposed. I'm gonna leave a couple inches here just to make it really easy for my connections and so that it's very easy to spot. It's not in the way of anything that I'm doing here. But the next steps now that I've got that driven are I'm gonna be able to run my antenna ground from here. I'm gonna be able to use lightning arresters and I need to bond this to my home's existing ground as well. But that's all there is to it. It's a lot simpler than at first I thought. And huge recommendation is to get one of these as well as that ground rod attachment. It just makes this so, so, so much easier. As you could see, I ran into some tougher ground or some rock as I was, uh, as I was placing this ground rod. So this really sped up the process and saved me a lot of headaches.